I won the Eurovision three times for Ireland, back in 1980, 87 and 92. In 1980 it was with a song called What's Another Year. In 87 it was Hold Me Now. And in 92 I wrote a song called Why Me, which won in Malmo in Sweden. Next year is the 30th anniversary of the first Eurovision, and it's, the Eurovision is being held in Malmo. So um, it seemed like a, an ideal opportunity to record all three songs on one CD, the way I've always wanted to do them. And over the last 30 years, I've gathered together songs um, that really sit in the same bracket musically. This album has been living in me for a long, long time. And it's been growing in me without me really knowing about it. You know, I, I've known it's there, but I didn't realize how passionate I was about wanting to get it done and to do it until I started working on it. Can I just hear the intro of that again? Yeah, for simplicity. Oh, it's lovely. Well done. <laughs> Since Hold Me Now, there was a lot of pressure on me immediately after this to write another kind of Hold Me Now because it was such a big hit. I think uh, it had the reverse effect on me. I went away from actually singing ballads. I was trying to get you know more into rock music or soul music and whatever. Um, and I'd, uh, I, I still wrote a few of them, but I didn't really present them to the uh, record companies or anything like this. And as such, we come to last year when I came in and I wrote Nature of Love. It was very much along the lines of Hold Me Now and I really enjoyed it. That's the nature of love. That's the nature of love. It's a power from above. Suddenly it arrives and you realize that's the nature of love. The vocals that I've done on this album are probably some of the best that I've ever done because it's the songs that mattered not Johnny Logan. I've, I've approached it with all the years that I've learned as a singer and I've tried to sing them. Um, you know, the, I've tried to sing them the best that I can sing the songs, not the best that I can use my voice, the best that I can give to the songs and bring to them. And I've never really approached an album from that perspective before. Maybe it's about time. What's And what's another year to someone who's getting used to being alone? During this period, I also wanted to involve um, Irish music because I've been involved with this for my last two CDs, which have been very successful for me. And I didn't want to lose the audience that I already had through this. So there were three songs particularly that I wanted to use Irish instruments on. That one was Solid Ground. Um, why me? I wanted to try it with, but Bo was very up for having a go with it anyway. I mean, and then um, there's a song called Love and Hate, Between Love and Hate. Those are the songs that we've used Irish instrumentation on. Whistle, bower on, lambeg drums and illan pipes. Now the summer's gone. I grew up in a fishing village and there's a, you know, kind of an unwritten law in the village I come from. Um, if you're a host man, when you die, the fishermen carry your coffin. There's a line in the song that goes, um, now the summer's gone and the autumn's here and the skies are turning gray. Will you walk with me to the water's edge at the closing of the day? It's very much what I've always felt, that where I grew up is as much a part of me as where I am now. Tell me when a woman loves a man, why is it so hard? Since I stopped drinking about four years ago, um, I've become much more focused on stuff that I want to do. You know, um, one of the things that you, you, when you're drinking, like any other drug, um, is that it's always something you're going to do. You know, I'm going to do this or I'm going to do that. Well, when I stopped drinking, I did it. And that's the difference, you know, like I said, if I was always a dreamer, 
Now I tend to try and make my dreams come true. That's the nature of love.